Welcome to Synagogues of New York, Part 9. This is the final portion of our checking out of Jewish houses of worship in the Bronx. Sadly, the Bronx can be a graveyard for synagogue buildings. For example, we're looking at Temple Emmanuel of Parkchester, which was a conservative affiliated synagogue. The congregation was established in 1942 and the synagogue facility was built in 1948. There had been a migration of the Jewish population from Parkchester to Co-op City and the subsequent construction of the Cross Bronx Expressway didn't help the situation either. People left the high rises in Parkchester for those at Co-op City because it had new furniture and air conditioning. In 2008, it merged with the Bronx Jewish Community Council and in August of 2011, it sold the building to a charter school for $875,000. So as we said, the older people moved to Co-op City. You don't know what the status now, but in 2011, this high-rise building in Co-op City was the home of the Young Israel of Baychester. Being part of the Young Israel franchise means that it ascribes to the Orthodox practice, and it was trying to have a daily minion. As we said, we don't know what the current status of this congregation is. Well, here's another synagogue building that we believe may also be bereft of a minion. It is the Throg's Neck Jewish Center. It has been a conservative affiliated congregation, but considering that it is fenced in, one may wonder if it is no longer or possibly just rarely used. Here is the Van Cortland Jewish Center. It is of the Orthodox persuasion. There are daily services in the morning only and possibly some evenings during the week. David Bornstein is the rabbi. The congregation was founded in, in 1927 and moved into this location in 1965. The rest of the synagogues we're going to check out belong to the Young Israel fraternity. This is Young Israel of Astor Gardens. The only information we have on it is that it no longer has a minion during the week, only on Shabbos and Yom Tov. And here's another quixotic synagogue building. This is the Young Israel of Moshe Lu Parkway. One can see the Hebrew words Beis Yitzchak Rivka, which in English means the house of Isaac and Rebecca, which are the first names of the people who paid for the construction of the building. From other signage on this building, one can see that it is no longer a synagogue, but its name is still chiseled into the front facade. And yet another defunct synagogue. This was the Young Israel of Parkchester. The congregation was founded in 1940, and the building shown here was constructed in 1950. The congregation finally closed in the early 2000s, and the building was sold in 2003. We've mentioned the Parkchester neighborhood in Bronx a few times. Parkchester is an area of the Bronx which was developed by the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company in the early 1940s as a self-contained middle-class housing project. One slight correction. After the building was sold in 2003, a small number of congregants relocated to a storefront location, and we doubt if that vestige of a minion is still functioning. Here's Young Israel of Pelham Parkway. Shmuel Zuckerman is its rabbi. This congregation was founded in 1939 and moved into this newer building in 2010. A full schedule of services are offered on a daily basis. Our final Bronx stop is the Young Israel of Riverdale. Mordechai Willig is the rabbi. Despite its Young Israel branding, which is usually modern Orthodox, this congregation leans more to the black hat style. There are two morning services on a daily basis, as well as an evening service. There are also joint study programs with the Riverdale Kolel. This must be either a very popular or very relatively inexpensive synagogue to become a member. They advertise that all high holiday seats are available on a first-come, first-served basis, even if the seat had been used for several years by another member. This concludes our look at synagogues in Bronx of New York City. There are many more synagogues in the state of New York to check out. Bye for now, and see you real soon.